has a clay tarring business. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure. Right. Um, so, a little bit counter crossfit. It is very counter crossfit. Yeah. Cross, being cross dressing. It's pretty funny when people come up, if, like, they just get to the gym until they're, because they're like, you know, 18 to 21 year old girls. Yeah, right. And they're like, am I in the wrong place? Yeah. And they're like, no, no, you're in the right place. Just go upstairs. Go upstairs. So, um, what is up guys? Um, welcome to the show, Matt. Thank you. How are you going today? Just doing really well, thanks. Yeah, really stoked to be here today. Awesome. Um, we're doing a seminar with Max a little bit later on, so um, look forward to learning some knowledge. Um, this is the first episode, where you're actually in the first episode where we're having some new hosts. So, Josh's first interview episode, yeah. and Matt's first interviewing yeah. episode. So, um, yeah, it should be good. Um, so, Max, tell us a little bit about, about yourself. Um, what do you um, what do you do? Um, how did you find the passion that you found in, in weightlifting? And give us a little bit of background on your story. Okay, um, I'm a primary school teacher at Emmaus Christian College uh, in South Clinton. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, also the uh, head coach of Olitech Dynamic Strength out of Panorama, so not yep. too far away from where I work. Um, my passion really comes from, uh, I guess. I really enjoy educating people about weightlifting. I think it's a bit of a, a, a good cross blend between like primary school education and also weightlifting education. Um, how I get the opportunity to see success through all spheres. So whether it's teaching multiplication to a kid and they finally get that light bulb moment or it's finally uh, somebody cracking through a, a real mental barrier with a weight that they've attempted so many times and finally there's that light bulb moment. Yeah. And that's the thing that really drives me to continue to uh, do seminars and to coach and to um, educate as much as I can through our CrossFit but also through our other sports. Yeah, weightlifting and, and strongman and all, all those other sports. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, how, did you, how did you personally find weightlifting when you were younger? So when I was in high school uh, in 2000, I was in year 10 and I uh, was in the middle of a PE class and uh, this guy walks in, pretty small guy, pretty unassuming, and goes, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to do Olympic weightlifting. I've gone, oh, okay, yeah, right, cool. So This guy's gonna show us how to lift. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, sweet. And I had no previous ex experience with gyms and stuff. Like, yeah. I've had family and friends and stuff who used to kick around in gyms, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. And I had a swimming background, so um, I'd done 10 years of uh, swimming up until that point, and thought, eh, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy to give this away. Um, if something else came along. And uh, we ended up doing sort of a, a clean jerk competition in the PE class. Okay. So yeah. I ended up clean jerking about 60 kilos, I think, from memory. Yeah. Um, and the guy who was actually on the front was like, oh, you know, he, he came from the South Australian Sports Institute where they were um, doing the talent ID. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're not bad, but you know, I, and they started handing out all these um, like three month scholarships to different people. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I didn't get one. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, I actually like this. This yeah. is kind of cool. And I actually went up to him and said, Hey, I'm actually interested. Give me one of those. And he's like, Okay. Yeah. And so I took it. And of all the people that actually got one, about three months later, there was none of them left except for me. Yeah. Um. So I just kept at it. And then uh, by the end of the year, I actually went on a Victoria versus South Australia trip. Yeah. Um. So we got to go interstate to Melbourne, and um, I. Ended up clean jerking, I think, 80 kilos at that point. So I'd succeeded 20 kilos in yeah. more, and I've gone, sweet, this is awesome. You know, in front of a large crowd, it was a real buzz. Um, and that sort of began to, began to feed that kind of, I guess, adrenaline seeking nature that I have. It's yeah. like, you know, to be in front of a large crowd to do something where it's not how articulate you are, it's not how. Um, you know, how well you present yourself, so to speak, but it's just your actions really speak everything. Yeah. So, you know, when you go out there and you do a lift and you're successful, you know, you're demonstrating, you know, the sum of all your training in one lift, you know, that's, I think it's pretty good. It can be pretty daunting, uh, but, you know, that's what really captured me and then I stuck with it and, you know, today, 16 years later, so, yeah, it's just, it's really, um, I won't say it's become who I am because it's not the sum of who I am, but it's definitely a large part of my life. Yeah. Um, now you um, were pretty accomplished within your own right. Um, you've been pretty humble about it all. So um, going from there, from your 80 kilo clean jerks, um, how did your training progress from there? Uh, right, well, uh, when I get into something, I 
go head first. So I went pretty hard into the training and uh, stepped up from two days a week to three, which quickly became four, which quickly became six sessions a week with double day training. Um, so within my first two years, I made an Australian team and qualified to compete at the Oceania Championships. Um, I scored a bronze there, which was pretty cool. Um, and that's the end of year 12. And then after that, um, I was doing a bit of uh, study, which gave me also a lot of time to you know, do a lot of training. Yeah. Uh, so I was able to train by 2005, uh, 2004 rather, sorry. Um, I'd made uh, a World Juniors Championships, which was a massive deal. It was a really big accomplishment at the time, which was held in Belarus. Yeah, um, okay, cool. Yeah, so that was a, a massive culture shock because you know I've never really left Australia prior to then. I had made one small trip out in 2003 out to a very small South Pacific island called Niue. Yeah, um, beautiful place. Um, but then to go from humble Adelaide to just outside of Russia, I mean yeah. that was a massive culture shock. Um, fantastic people there, you know. Um, you can definitely see. Um, you can see and you can kind of feel um, the spirit of the city around you. Like, yeah. And at times, you know, you see certain things and you kind of, your heart almost breaks for a few people because, you know, you see some people looking like destitute and you think it must be a pretty hard life here. Um, but I think in terms of the competition, it was fantastic. Um, met some amazing athletes from all around the world and you really genuinely realise how insignificant you are when you compare yourselves to these people yeah. who are also competing in. So I came 23rd out of 27. Yeah. And like yeah, it was an absolute shellacking. You know, you know, I'm very open about that. I mean, you know, I never stood a chance of getting anywhere close to top ten. Um, you had guys from China, like the, the guy who won did a 160 snatch, 200 clean jerk, weighing 85 kilos, and he was still under 20 years old. Like, wow, yeah, it's just yeah. impressive, you know. And I pulled away with like a 120, I think 122 snatch and a 150 clean jerk, like, and that was, you know, I thought, yeah, it's okay. You know, it was sort of close to my best, but yeah, just to see the cal the caliber of that athletes competing, you just go, wow, I'm really out of my league here. Yeah. But it was good because it actually fueled the passion to go, well, if I need to get better, I just got to train harder. So I dove back into training when I got back home. And um, at the end of 2006, I had um, qualified for my first Commonwealth Games trials. I competed at um, a Commonwealth Championships and uh, won a bronze medal initially, which actually got overturned to a silver after a, a drug um, scandal erupted after that. Um, so that was great, uh, not a drug scandal, but <laughs> a medal. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh, yeah, so after that it was um, a series of Oceania Championships through 2008-2012. Uh, um, and then uh, after, oh sorry, not 2008-2010, uh, 2010, after being unsuccessful with my bid for a spot on the um, 2006 Commonwealth Games team. I went for another spot. Yeah. And unfortunately, that didn't pan out at the time, which was a bit devastating. And uh, at the time, I was newly married, and went, well, I've just finished my teaching degree. I need to find a job, get myself settled. I put weightlifting on the back burner for a bit, and just sort of, you know, not really do too much with that. Just let the body heal. Yeah. Um, at the end of 2010, I was pretty beaten up. Like I had major injuries or um, just chronic injuries like uh, knees. I had uh, patellar tendinopathy in both yeah. knees because